guys, it's Free Tip Friday. So I don't need these on. Some of you guys have been asking me in the comments why I'm always wearing my hearing protection. Well, just let me tell you. First off, it's none of your damn business. Um, but because I'm such a nice guy, I'll tell you, I love the quiet. I love peace and quiet. Dead silent is just, it's beautiful to me. I'll take quiet over noisy music any day of the week. It's like, it's where I hear God's voice. It's my peaceful and quiet. How is that not a good thing? And on top of that, I hate being cold and wearing ear protection makes me feel warmer and keeps my ears from really being cold. Right? Is that a good enough answer for you? Stop asking. Okay, back to Free Tip Friday. I'm about to glue up my gate. And I uh, just want to give you a few tips on glue it up panel door gate situations like this. This gate, because it's outside, even though it has a covered roof over it, you know, it can get driving rain onto it. So this bottom piece, which is the bottom of, uh, of the gate, this panel right here is going to sit in the dado slot that I made. But this slot is also a perfect water trap. So if you're building a gate like this, ideally you don't really want to have a dado in the bottom. But because this is yellow cedar and there's a roof over the gate, it's probably likely never going to get water in there. But just in case, I drill drain holes in the bottom, half inch drain holes going out through the bottom. That way if water does ever get in there, it'll be able to drain out and it won't just sit in there and then turn into mold and rot and destroy your gate in a couple of years. And another, another tip is to put these, I just use a couple of scrap pieces of wire and lay it on the floor as a little spacer. So that way your panels up off the bottom of your dado. And if you want to be like super legit carpenter guy, I know you can buy those like bags of little rubber spacer things that you put in the sides of these slots. But I just never, I just never bought those. So just MacGyver it up with some electrical wire. And then if any wire does get in there, it can move freely and drain, get to these drain holes without getting trapped and soaked up into the bottom of your panel. Now if you're not using a, just an insanely raw resistant wood like red or yellow cedar or teak or something like that, you, I would advise painting your panel, sealing the end grain with you know, an oil-based primer or stain and then also staining inside this dado track as well so that any water does get in there it won't just soak into the wood and start to like rot it out. But because this has got a gate, a roof over it, it's all going to be painted and it's yellow cedar. I'm just going to put it all together. It's never going to rot. I've been out in the bush and found you know, fallen yellow cedars that have been laying on the forest floor for like, I don't know, 50, 60 years and like only the outside half an inch where the sap wood is is actually rotten. The core is just rock solid. Like it's been laying in a rainforest for like who knows how long. Yellow cedar is just phenomenal rot resistant, so I'm not too worried about it in this situation, but that's a few tips for you. Is always leave room for water to escape. You don't want trap water anywhere. That's the number one rule when you're doing outside wood exterior woodworking. Alright. We're putting this thing together, so see you next week. So we're out.